What's up, guys? Got a package in the mail today. Uh, I believe it's the Scottish Warrior, uh, otherwise known as William Wallace from Braveheart. Uh, it's from Caustic, to Caustic Plastic, I think, is the name of the company that makes it. Um, they can't use the Braveheart or William Wallace, the full name, uh, because of licensing purposes. So, uh, but I actually had to order this from a company in Rome. Uh, because everybody else seems to be out in Caustic Plastic, the company that makes this. So, anyways, uh, they they were, these were hard to find actually, but um, I really wanted a William Wallace in my collection, and I don't, I couldn't find a I Mini Me for a price that I would want to pay. I'm not gonna pay a thousand bucks for a second-hand iMini-Me or what have you. So I went this route and maybe I'll get a custom head later in the future, we'll see. Anyways, let's go with packing. So this company I got it from did really good packing. That's always a good, good thing. So this is what you got. Every man dies, not every man lives. As you can see, he's got the war paint from the box. This big old sword that he always has. William Scottish Highlander. So that's what they ended up na naming it. Caustic Plastic, the ones who made it. I'm not sure how many they made. I hope they didn't make a ton because it's nice to have uh, a ton of them out there, but. I did order a few extra head sculpts that Caustic Plastic did. Uh, should be here in a week or so. Maybe I'll put those up. So this is the pose that he is going to, uh, the head sculpt and pose that I'm going to kind of put him in. So okay, let's open them up here and see. Looks like your uh, normal shoe box here is what Looks like the packing opens up. Good foam for cover, which is great. Oh, he comes with two head sculpts. Oh, nice. He actually comes with uh, his buddy. Ah, that's cool. That's awesome. Wow, that's, that's really cool. I do like that. Uh, anyways, let me show you what I'm talking about here. So you're not sitting there like, what? What's he talking about? So let's make sure none of it falls out here. Actually, let's just take the foam out. So, we'll start with the first. And the first one, you got William Wallace here. You got his armband for his left wrist. You got his big old sword. Uh, this is his buddy. I can't remember his name. Um, but I'll take that out. Uh, it's his but his kid his kid friend, and he grows up with him. So that's pretty cool. I didn't know we got that. But now they know that I have to make the set there, bastards. There's another head sculpt of William. Both of them are screaming. I don't know why they did that for the deluxe. Um, I wish they had one that was mouth closed, but both of them seem to be wanting to scream. So that's one box here, and then the one underneath. So what you got here, sorry if these aren't close enough, I'll make them. So you got some extra hands, got some extra arms. These arms look better, well maybe not. Uh, they're just different grips, I think. I don't know, we'll pull them out and kind of see what goes on. It's got an extra kilt set up here um, and nice shield, nice textured, looks good. And his, ha his sledgehammer he uses in the beginning. Um, his buddy actually uses that too, so that's a nice piece that it's got a kit bash his, his friend together. Gosh, I wish I knew his name, but 
Hey, that's a good close up there. I'll do another one of this one. So, the screaming helmet or screaming head sculpt. I'll take them out of the plastic. We'll just get that better. Anyways. The good thing I do like about these is that he is already, he's already set up. Um, I do know the iMini-Me, uh, you had to actually put on the kilt and everything. And for me, I'm just like, I'm too lazy for that. And I saw how they did it and it looked just to be a freaking nightmare. So, anyways, that's a close-up of him. The likeness is okay. I mean, it's not great. And like I said, I will be um, getting, we'll be doing something else. I mean, the, the hair and the head sculpt, the hair on the sculpt is not bad, in my opinion. Uh, depends on if you want real hair or not. Uh, but the face, to me, the face could get a little, a little work. But they did a good job, like in the mouth and everything. It's pretty good but it's just there's something a little off anyways uh the rest of the the gear looks great if you look at his uh kilt set up here and all the rivets on the underneath here i hope none of those come off or if they do i hope they put extra ones in there because that'd be a pain in the ass um yeah, the work on the clothing is really, really good. And here's where that extra string goes up here on the top. In case I want to change these uh, this out. Uh, I got a belt here below. And, of course, you got your little boot. Sorry, not the greatest focus. Okay. So the feet turn not all the way which is a good thing I think that's good they do go up and down is that already a freaking rivet yeah already rivets coming off sweet that's great yeah you can see right there on the back where there's a missing rivet son of a bitch so there's a, obviously be careful don't want to touch him too much. Um, his leg does the, like a normal leg should. Uh, doesn't bend too far over. His stance is pretty good. You can move him. Let's see if he'll stand on his own, which he does. So that's a good thing. Uh, he's got veiny arms and stuff, which I think is kind of a good touch. Uh, doesn't make it look so because I'm sure the body is not like a real expensive one. I do have some TTM 18 and 19s coming, and then I have a couple muscular bodies coming that I might switch. I don't know, depending on how they look when they get here. Um, but he seems pretty good for posability. Like he'll he'll go whichever way I kind of want him to. So I do like that. Um, now I gotta make sure I don't lose that little button. Put that up there. And there's another one already come off. Yuck, I don't like that. So, oh well. I guess he wouldn't be perfect in battle condition, right? So, I don't know if they'd actually fall off, but. Anyways, let's, uh. Pull some of the other stuff over here. Try not to touch his back, so. Okay, you were just standing great. Now you're not gonna stand great. There you go. All right, let's see what else we got. So the war paint head sculpt. Yeah, I like this one much better than that plain one. This is probably the one I'll actually pose him with. Uh, it's the exact same head sculpt, but the hair is a little different, obviously. 
Uh, the other one looks like almost like he's um, riding a horse, you know, like his hair is flowing back kind of a little bit. Where this one, it's just sitting down chilling, which is good. And the blue paint makes it look um, more accurate, more screen accurate, in my opinion. Okay, so that's the one that'll be on soon enough. And then his, so this is the deluxe set, if you're wondering. Um, that's why I got all these extra pieces, which is awesome. I like it. So, I don't know. It kind of looks like, I think Brandon Gleason, I think, is the name of the actor. Kind of, I know that's what they're going for. So, I mean, it's kind of resembles them a little bit, but not. I mean, if I got another one, I'd set them up like that. Um, but, I don't know, he's not going to be a top priority, obviously. Ah. Yeah, you're going to fall down. Whatever. Whatever, William. Um, oh wow, that's, it's got some dents to it actually, um, his big sword that, as you know, it's in the end, uh, the thing I do like about the I Mini Me set that I've seen, it's got the little ribbon on here, um, like it's screen accurate, this one obviously doesn't, but it's got good weight to it, which I do like, uh, I bet him holding it, it's gonna... Uh, set his weight off, but whatever. We'll make it work. Little wristband. It's gonna go on his side. On his forearm. Uh, this looks like to be... Uh, this is his sword holder. It's gonna go around on his back. Okay. Um... It looks all to be in that one. So here's another different, this is the kilt in the uh, beginning. Sorry if it's all, it's more brown rather than, as you see, the blue here. So this is more, I want to say this is the beginning of the movie. And then later on it starts to go to this, I believe. Uh, don't quote me. The stand. There's your stand. I will probably get a stand customly made by... Stony stands. Shout out to him. He does amazing work. Um, another weapon. The big old hammer. Which is awesome. I thought there was some blood there on the top. Kind of looks like a little tinge. But. It's actually got some good dents like the. A uh, sword. Here's a shield. Good detail. Yeah, so. Looks actually pretty good. And then we got some extra hands. And then the last thing is the pick. Once again, another weapon that's used in the very beginning when after his wife gets killed. Um, so yeah, these two weapons are big in the beginning. And obviously, this is big throughout the rest of the movie. So, it's a pretty, it's a big sword, I mean, that's it, it goes up to his shoulders, so. So that's it guys, I'll uh, do a little how I posed him. Uh, I think the figure is great uh, for what it is. For not having to pay for a custom one, I would like to, but I was obviously too late, and I'm too late in the custom collecting world for that. So, um, and I don't like paying crazy amounts of money for them on eBay. 
So, thanks for watching, guys. I'll sh I'll set up a thing in the end of how I set them up in my detail. Alright, guys, we're here at the end of the video. Uh, once again, this is the box. Um, Braveheart William Wallace, made from by caustic plastic. And this is how I got him set up in the detail. Got his weapons around him, sword above him. I also put the uh, forearm uh, little thing on there. Gauntlet, whatever you want to call it. So this is the pose he's going to be in. I might change his uh, his tunic um, later down the road, but not right now. I like this setup as it is. I can't put the sword any higher. I kind of wanted to put it over his head, but it touches the top of the detolf above the next section area. So, uh, I really do like this figure. Um, so, as you know, I'm going to start doing uh, reviews by uh, grade. So, A, B, C, D, kind of, you know, like school. Uh, for the head sculpt, I give it a 3 out of 5. Uh, the reason why is because of the lack of expression. I'm not a big fan of... I, I do like the open mouth. It's cool. Uh, looks like he's going into war. But if you buy the deluxe, I wish you had a closed mouth as well. And I had to separately buy those uh, from the company still. But, you know, it is it is what it is. I still got three, uh, two other sculpts with this. One being supposedly Mel Gibson. The other, his buddy, I want to say Angus from the movie. I'm not sure. But this is the one I'm going with. Clothing wise, I'm going to give him a 4 out of 5. And the only reason I didn't give it a, a solid 5 is because, like I told you before, the rivets. The rivets fall off in the back very, very easily. I'm not a huge fan of that. Um, the weapons and accessories are, uh, I give it a 5 out of 5. I think the quality of them is fantastic. Uh, they are die cast, which I think is absolutely just it's good i think die casts are amazing especially for these uh one six figures uh, i think plastic if you're going for metal weapons is just ridiculous so um i i love all the weapons they did here um the body uh just the body that it comes with i give it a five out of five as well uh it's got veins in it makes it look a little more real uh, it's easily movable you can move them in all sorts of positions um, so yeah I really liked it the total score is a 17 out of 20 if you're paying attention there and I'm gonna give him a solid B um, I think if you are a huge Braveheart fan you have to have this in your 1-6 collection if you didn't get the I mini me's so this I'm very happy with this figure to be honest and I'm happy I got it. And once again, thank you for watching. This is the Nerdiest RN, out. Keep collecting, my friends.